Job sites are probably the most demanding tool testing sites that exist. And if you add to that a demolition site, you've upped the ante even more. Reciprocating saws are used at all levels of construction, but probably most seen in the remodeling and demolition stages of a project. My opinion, the reciprocating saw is just a vehicle to get the cut done, to do the demo. The secret sauce, it lies in the cutting blade. It's geometry, tooth design, and blade count. Um, the Milwaukee Torch with Carbide Tooth Reciprocating Saw Blade is brand new. Just came out. It was designed to cut metal faster than regular bimetal blades in, in obviously in thick metal and cast iron. Designed to cut metal fast, this blade is not a replacement for the bandsaw. Think of it as an additional tool in your arsenal of job site cutting solutions. One more tool in your toolbox. We look at this saw blade as pure demo and tight access cutting. Let's face it, in a remodeling and demolition phase, pipes are not always accessible or easily accessed to be cut. And in those situations, the reciprocating saw blade is a better access to an area than say a band saw. So what kind of materials will this cut? <clears throat> well, it's designed to cut thick metal, angle iron, schedule 40 black pipe, gas pipe, rigid conduit, rebar, cast iron, stainless steel, boron, um, EMT, conduit, heavy metal, you name it, it cuts it. And as far as the blade design goes, the torch with carbide teeth was, uh, is made in the Milwaukee's Mississippi, Greenwood, Mississippi saw blade plant. Good old USA. Not, not a lot of the other blades can say that. They designed it with 25% more carbide on the teeth, and according to Milwaukee, there is more carbide than the MK Morrison Diablo blades. This blade is also 20% thicker than the previous torch by metal blades. And unlike others, Milwaukee utilizes a full face and rake grind in their torch blades. That means top of the tooth and the vertical faces of the gullet receive a grinding process which ensures a really consistent sharp tip. Speaking of tips, if you look at this, the front end of the torch blade, you'll notice it looks a bit like a US Navy Zumwalt class guided missile destroyer. Okay, maybe not, but the front end of the torch blade definitely has a unique shape to it. And uh, that's designed to help deflect the blade if it's struck off objects, so it helps prevent bending or kinking damaged blades. This, um, this blade has a seven tooth per inch straight tooth set design, which allows for 70% larger gullets between the teeth. So the larger gullet space allows for faster chip removal. And when you think about aggressive cutting, say like stainless steel, the chips tend to gum up inside the gullets. And in these scenarios, that's where we see the saw teeth shearing off or breaking off of the blade's edge. So the, the larger gullet is basically one reason why the, the blade cuts faster and is more efficient than a bimetal cutting blade. You can get rid of those chips better. When designing this blade, Milwaukee, um, they perform job site research and testing with many different crews of professionals. For example, um, the Tesler repair crew needed a better way to remove, the, the, uh, remove and replace the B-pillar between two doors. This repair involves cutting of boron posts. And if you're not sure what boron is, boron is a ultra high strength steel often seen in um, roll cages and reinforced frames and crash bars. Tesla needed a carbide tip blade as a recip saw because they wanted to fit into that confined space so to do it safer than a grinder or a torch. So Milwaukee worked with them, they field tested the torch blade. Um, they also worked with the heavy, um, the hurt unit, it's a heavy urban rescue team in Milwaukee. They're equipped to perform technical rescues like structural collapse, uh, confined space rescue, and trench rescue. The hurt team found that the torch blade cut boron in vehicle frames faster than they could do it with the jaws of life. So who will use the torch? What's purpose? The carbide torch blade, I think it opens doors to solve problems on the job site. We see, I see torch users as uh, remodelers like me, plumbers, mechanical contractors, demo guys, and fire and rescue guys, and anybody who's got a, a metal cutting application that's tough to access. As far as blade sizes go, Milwaukee's gonna offer these in the same configurations as the ax blade, the ax carbide blade, uh, in packs of one, three, and five. And they're gonna offer them in lengths of six, nine, and 12 inches. Let's talk a little bit about blade life, test cuts. According to Milwaukee, the torch blade cuts longer and cuts more than traditional bimetal blades. Milwaukee was able to get 20 cuts in cast iron, um, 
20 plus cuts in stainless steel, 50 plus cuts in rebar, 30 plus cuts in angle iron, 125 plus cuts in black iron pipe, and 300 plus cuts in rigid conduit. So we wanted to do our own testing to confirm that. I wanted to be able to show you guys uh, long lasting, fast cutting capabilities of this saw, basically. At the same time, I wanted to create a test that would challenge the blades. So I thought about like on remodeling and demo projects, we often find ourselves cutting all types of metal from pipes to masonry lintels to threaded rod, EMT, water and sewer lines. Oh, and of course rebar, right? Who, who, who loves rebar? Um, so to evaluate for cutting speed and blade life, I chose to use cast iron pipe and number four rebar for our test materials. Our first test was done with a ductile water pipe and it, was a, it has a 13 16 thick wall. Ductile iron pipe is used in pressure pipe, is used as a pressure pipe for transmission of water, gas and sewage. It also has a mortar lining, which I felt would be really tough to cut and really stress these blades. Typically, you would cut this pipe in the field with a gas saw and like a diamond or a grit type blade. Um, so in addition to the torch blade, I also used a Diablo steel demon carbide tip blade and a Lennox carbide grit blade for comparison purposes because I wanted to see how this torch paired up. I quickly determined that this material was way too tough to cut. Uh, in a recip situation, it needed it needed a gas saw, so I stopped the I stopped the saw blade cuts um, after six minutes of cutting. The pipe was just too tough; it couldn't do it. Both Diablo and the torch, the Milwaukee torch, um, cut ten and three quarter inches lineal inches of the pipe. The Lennox blade just cut through the metal, hit the concrete, stopped the mortar, and stopped. Got about two inches of metal cut. The next test we looked at was a four inch black cast iron pipe. This is what you see in re residential homes. It's got five sixteenths inch thick wall. Uh, I want to note that a preferred method to do this cut would be a bandsaw. Um, in restricted accesses though, diamond grit blade is what we used to always use, but it takes a really long time. The torch blade can reduce the diamond cutting from two minutes to 30 plus seconds. And again, for comparison purposes, I looked at the Diablo steel de uh, demon carbide blade against this blade, the torch. Uh, I performed two tests each with fresh blades. I compiled the, compiled the test results and averaged out a speed cut. We did eight cut averages and the Milwaukee torch could cut the pipe in 45 seconds, the Diablo in 44 seconds. The next test was a number four half inch rebar. And look guys, we see rebar all the time. Reinforcing bar is used for tensile strength in concrete. We run into it in, um, reinforcing of footings, slabs, piers, columns, and walls. So again, for comparison purposes, I compared the torch to the Diablo Steel Demon Carbide Tip Blade, and I performed two tests each with fresh blades. I compared the results. I did a 20 cut test, averaged up all the results, and the Milwaukee Torch cut the rebar in 4.4 seconds. The Diablo Steel Demon cut it in 5.2 seconds. That's like eight tenths of a difference, but it's, it's fast. Both blades were fast. Torch beat it. I continued to make the cuts with the torch blade because I just wanted to see how far it could go. I got the 45 cuts in the rebar, same blade. I stopped due to fatigue. The, the blade was still cutting, but dulling and slowing down. Overall, super impressed by the longevity, the toughness, speed of cut of this torch blade, and it cut fast and clean. So the answer is, is the torch worth it? The answer is yes. For several years, Diablo has stood ahead of the pack with their Steel Demon carbide tip blade. And Milwaukee torch with carbide, they just crashed that party. If you're in the trades, I see the Milwaukee torch with carbide tip as a fast solution and additional option to our older cutting methods that we use, older cutting metal methods. The torch carbide tip blade is gonna open doors for you in efficiency on the job site. So the next time you're at the lumber yard, grab a few torch blades. You're gonna, you need a few of these in your recip box just in case, that's how I look at it. These blades, they're gonna probably be priced right along the same line as the Diablo blade, the competitor blade. I'm Rob Robillard, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this test, please click that subscribe button. We need your support, take care.